Do you want to become a great leader, but sometimes you're feeling confused and you don't know what leadership is all about and what it's not about? In this video, I'm going to share what leadership is not and the three requirements to become a great leader. That's what's coming up right now. Hi and welcome back to the A Player Show. I'm your host, Janik Matzner. I'm your leadership coach. I'm the founder of the Conscious Leaders Mastermind. And I'll help you become a great leader and live a gorgeous life. And in this video, we're going to talk about what leadership is not and the three requirements, only three requirements to become a great leader. And first and foremost, what is leadership not? It's not personality. Never. It is not about your personality. You don't need to be extroverted. You don't need to be charismatic to become a great leader. And this was the mistake I made all along my life. For a long time, I did not believe I have a leader within me because I was shy and introverted and I didn't talk a lot. And I thought like leadership is all about those great communicators. And yes, communication is important. And those charismatic guys but that's not what it's all about. It's not about charisma. It's not about extroversion. It's about, do you have a dream? Do you have a vision? Are you willing to fight for it and live into it? It's not your personality. And by the way, your personality is not fixed. If you believe you are shy, that's not your destiny. It wasn't mine. I thought like, I want to be different. And I chose to be different. And from that moment on, I decided to be different every single day. Your personality is not fixed. It is not permanent. And it doesn't even determine whether you can be a leader or you can't. Then second, it's not positional power. I mean, so often we believe if we have that title, if we have that position of power, well, then we're going to be a leader. But that way you're never going to have real leadership power because if your power is reliant on having that position or having that title, well, you're never going to feel powerful because only if you inherit that positional power, you're going to have, like, you're go going to see yourself as worthy of leading other people. And if that positional power is away, if you don't have it anymore, well, you're back to power less. Leadership is an attitude towards life. And if your leadership requires having positional power, you're never going to really influence other people. So start tapping into your own inner power. That's the requirement. That's one of those. Then it's not an inherent trait. I mean, you're not born being a leader. You're not born being that way. At first, you're being a follower. I mean, you have your parents, they're showing you the way and you role model, you model their behavior, you model the behavior of your peers and your environment. You're not being born a leader. At some point, you need to make a choice. At some point, you need to decide, I'm going to be a leader. That's how you become a leader. You lead by choice, which I'm going to talk about. It's not given by anyone else. We already talked about this in positional power but you will never have permission to lead. You have to give yourself permission to become a leader, to put yourself out there, to raise your own bar, to stand up for what you believe to be true. Leadership is a choice and it is your choice only. If you want to be a leader, decide to be one. If you don't want to be a leader, well, don't decide to be one. But nobody else can give you permission. You need to decide that by yourself if you want to tag tap into that leadership mindset, into that role model mindset, really vitally important. Then it's also not knowledge. I mean, it's not if you have all the answers, you're going to be a great leader. Those are experts. Experts are not necessarily great leaders. As a leader, you don't need to have all the answers because the only responsibility you have as a leader is to have vision. You don't need to know what are we going to do and why are we going to do it? So you need to have a vision and the why, but you don't need to know the how. So oftentimes experts aren't really good leaders because they think like I can do it all by myself. I have all the answers. And if you believe you have to have all the answers, if you believe I know it all, well, you're not going to rally other people around of where you're going. So if you know exactly what to do, if you know I can do it all by myself, if you know I have all the right answers, well, you're not going to engage other people into that vision and they're not going to be excited to help you build that thing. 
So you need to have that curiosity within you, that hunger for new knowledge, to learn more, to listen to other people's opinion, so that you can shape your own even more. Curiosity is one of the key traits of great leaders. You can develop it, it's not inherent, but if you think like you have all the answers, well, you're not going to be a great leader. And then lastly, it's not privileges or circumstances. So if you believe, well, I'm not one of the rich kinds of families, in my family nobody was a leader, nobody did this, it doesn't matter. You can be a leader. It is a choice. It is, not, it is a privilege to be a leader, but you can tap into that privilege right away. You don't need anyone's permission. You don't need anyone to validate you. You just decide, I'm going to lead first myself, and I'm going to lead other people. I'm going to take them somewhere because it is my quest to build something big. I want to do something big with my life. I feel like I'm destined to make a difference in this world. I feel like I want to rally other people around that quest. If you feel like you want to lead, just decide to lead. That's your quest. That's your responsibility. So now let's get to the three requirements to be a leader. Only three. Number one, lead by choice and example. I already talked about this a lot in this video. If you want to lead, make that choice. Make that choice to be a leader and then set the example. First, you need to set high standards for yourself. So how you're showing up each and every day, you need to set a standard that is so much higher than everybody else. You need to set the standard for excellence in every single thing that you do and hold yourself accountable. Because if you want to hold other people accountable, you first need to hold yourself accountable. And by the way, if you have missed any of the videos in this leadership week, I highly recommend that you check out the playlist down below and make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell and smash the like button if you like this video. Then point number two, lead with a vision. Leaders need to have a vision. You need to know where you're going. It needs to be bold and exciting. So it excites you, that direction that you're moving towards. It needs to be so bold, so exciting that you can't wait to get to work, that you can't wait to build more into that vision. And that's how you share your vision. You first need to believe in your vision before you can rally anyone else onto your vision. And once you believe in it, once you embody it, then it's your job to lead other people with that vision, to enroll them into that vision so they can wait to build it with you. And then lastly, leaders create leaders. Very simple, but so true. Leaders create leaders. So if you want to become a great leader, your only job is to lead them with the vision and then lift them up. You need to lift people up rather than pulling them down. And if you help, people become better. If you leave them better than you found them, you're going to become a great leader. And if this video is helpful, make sure that you subscribe down below, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, smash that like button and watch the other videos in this leadership playlist. It will change your life and it will rewire your identity into thinking and believing that you are a leader. And until the next time, make sure that you live fully, live openly and be the leader of your life.